So the adventure begins. I am cutting out of work and gonna do this crazy thing. My other kind of crazy uh, ideas about this whole thing is that one of the last things he says is Terry Scant. And I think that Terry Scant may mean that he has coated the uh, box with some type of tar, like creosote. Um, that is a, a method that the Russians used to preserve a lot of their guns uh, during, I believe it was after World War II. Um, so they kind of coated all of their guns in this tar that you can cook off and then you can restore the guns out of that tar. Now, um, the nice thing about it is it keeps water from getting into the gun or into the part. So, uh, Terry Scant, I actually read as Tari Scant, which means Scant, he didn't use much, but he used a little bit of tar or creosote to uh, seal the box uh, to protect it from uh, the weather and environment. Uh, he says he knows it's wet, so I think that kind of goes along with it also, is that it may be in a place that gets wet, but has been, uh, has been, you know, had tar added to it to help protect and preserve it. This is into a canyon down. We were just at the eagle's nest, and then this uh, road goes deep into the canyon. Uh, I probably won't film all of it. I've driven it a few times now, so I feel more confident in knowing the road. I'm not going to be surprised by anything. Um, but there are some she uh, s sharp turns like this one. And uh, so we are definitely going down into a canyon. Warm waters halt right here. Uh, this is the area where um, Warm Waters Halt, that lake is where the warm waters are. Down here in the river uh, is where the cold waters start and it's why it's trout water and this is where all the brown trout are. Uh, so home of brown. It's, it's really just beautiful. There's several groundhog squirrels kind of running around uh, at the top by the eagle's nest area. <clears throat> now, I'm going to have to first stop by the um, state park area to pay my dues again today. So I'm going to stop and do that real quick. Down the canyon we go. All of the water on the right and left, um, it kind of crisscrosses back and forth around this road, but it's all brown trout uh, fishing. It's really, really good brown trout fishing. Um, so this is the home of brown. Cimarron State Park and as you can see there's lots of pine needles and uh, smaller pinion pine trees uh, in this area and as you can see we are down into the canyon uh, I've already seen several fishermen in this area so I know Force Finn is happy that people are out enjoying this um, and uh, it was a little tricky figuring out the how to pay for the park pass here because you have to do it yourself there isn't a place you go talk to a human being um, but that's all right I figured it out and now we're going to our next destination So the reason that this is such an important area, um, that hints of treasures new and old, is because this is the old Santa Fe Trail, 
uh, from Cimarron to Ute. And um, this whole trail is where uh, some other people lost quite a bit of gold. Um, they knew that they were going to be robbed by marauders, and they um, they buried their gold in the same area. Uh, I don't have a uh, metal detector, so I will not be after. And I imagine it's quite a bit more difficult to find. We're going to right around mile marker 292. Was 291. Deep, deep into the canyon. It took me about an extra hour to get here, so I may have to come back tomorrow also, depending on how far of a hike I have, um, but I'd like to get back and at least get a feel for the area, and if I can, uh, you know, of course I'd like to do even better than that, but um, I at least want to familiarize myself with the area, because I am quite sure that it is at this location on this trail that I'm about to pull up to. to find a trailhead. So if this is the home of Brown and this is take a paddle up your creek. This is an old dried out creek bed. So we'll see how far it goes. Maverick Trailhead. Uh, took a little bit of work to find this trailhead because it's pretty. It's about a mile down the road from the uh, the campground associated with the Maverick name. So here we go. You can see Ponderosa pine cones just absolutely everywhere. Right as you start, and. As a psychologist, I know that your first memories and your last <clears throat> memories are the uh, are the ones you remember the most. So you're the first person who interviews, the last person who interviews for a job. Uh, that's the recency and primacy effect. This is a very steep hill. It is a. Heck of an oldie 80 year old man. 
if he's doing this. I mean, that's crazy. But he did say it was not on a human trail. Here's large stones. So maybe I'm actually going to take that large stone path instead. No creek. No paddle up this creek. Just heavy loads. These giant rocks. Some animal bones. Now if you've found the blade. Now this is no longer a man-made path, which is a good thing. So I just left Maverick Trail and thought, you know, I'm just gonna go south of Maverick, Maverick Trail. And uh, I found this little game trail uh, and I walked it and followed it right here to this river, which is just gorgeous. Um, and so you can see it's just beautiful here, um, but I'm going to look around this little area to see if the treasure's here. <laughs> 